Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this here is Tommy Versetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Oh. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster, like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up, and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. All right, miss. I'm gonna save your Vera, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy lugs. Word is you may try to jump him. Didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take them? Ah! ah. Oh, I right, right, plain right. English. Keep your party on. They call him across town the junkyard. <laughs> Bloody hell, you nutter! Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster? No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. Caramia. Could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. 
That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And list. that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong in Thailand? Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve all Scott. All the a passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? Oh, boy. I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up. Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But, Stevie... Tommy, be careful. My implants aren't insured yet. Hey, lady! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill me a Haitian. And then... And then I'm gonna make love like a man. You know that, Chica? Something like this. Uh, 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 He's uh, so uh, gross. Loser. Prick. Hey, baby! I oh wouldn't God, touch I you with a ten foot pole. Humberto Romina, he in. likes the ladies, so not funny. some goat in a skirt. Tommy, Tommy, I love you. I love you. Let's go. <laughs> go where? Can I get a cup of coffee first? No time for coffee. Besides, I just had one. We're gonna take out the Haitians. Tommy, how do you take out a snake? You bite him in the ass. <laughs> Whatever you say, Humberto. Tommy, you go and get us a little Haitian car. When you get it, Come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to the Haitians. Then, you go around to the Haitians' processing plant. And you use their solvent as an explosive. Boom! Bye-bye! Humberto, what about you? Uh, I'm going to stay behind and watch over that cafe with Papa. He not feeling so good, you know? Come in, my dear, and rest your soul. You must be the big bad man my granddaddy been chatting about. Tell me things about you, you know, when he visits, and about the others who wait for you. Now, we all dead from long time, but you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I got a message to come here. Can you hear them? Them calling your name, boy, must want you pretty bad, don't you think? Now, you do old Auntie Pulea Turner. Maybe she help you. Maybe she can give you a little juju after all of this. Give you some magic to give the lawman the stink eye. Mm? Look, this is all very, um, give me what? I, th I, th I think I got the wrong address. Give me these things, Tommy. The Cubans' nasty, proud foo-foos. Mm. Been making my lovely Haitian boys shake their heads. Now they told the policeman where me been stashing my powders. They think it drugs. Them stupid. Now be a good boy, Tommy, and go and get the powders for Auntie Poole. <coughs> Got you again. Hey, Rossetti. Cougar says you can handle a bike pretty good. Yeah, how many more errands am I going to have to run? I'm a very busy man. If it's a fight that's going to sell this, then bring it on. Being one of us ain't just about brawling. It's about being part of a family. Yeah, I've been part of a family before, all right? It didn't work out. Yeah, all right, but this family takes care of its own. We don't ask a man to do the dirty work and then let him do 15 years hard time. Yeah, that's right, I've done my homework. This here's the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses. Hell, some of us have even been betrayed by our own country. I was locked up during non-ugly business. Which is why I'm going to ask you to go mess with the man. 
This whole damn country needs a kick in the ass, and we're the ones to deliver it. So get out there, grab a bike, and show this city how pissed you are. Well, the best shooter in this town is a guy named Cassidy. Is that so? Yeah, a military guy, or thinks he is. I doubt he was ever in the army, but he certainly knows how to get a hold of guns. He'll be down at the shooting range. Bill? Run! Run! Ah, wait! Never get a naked life. Too close to where to Phil Cassidy's moonshine still. Shit, Phil. Did you drink that stuff? The hell, you don't have to drink it. Just a good whiff will set you off. Ah, we Listen, Phil, you said you could fix me up with some firepower. Sure thing. There's some Mexican gun runner been doing me for business of late. He does his weekly run about now. Hey. Ram his hardware off the back of his trucks before he goes to ground. And you'd be doing me a favor while you're at it. Then finish him off. You Tommy? Oh. Of course you're Tommy. I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Okay, consider it this way. I'll drive for you if, and only if, you can drive properly. Leave me alone, and I'll never forgive you. Who are you? Your new owner. Were you now or at any time a child? What are you talking about? Were you a child? Yes, calm down. I What's knew wrong with you? it. A child! A dirty, stinking, sniffling, snotting, vile, puking, crying little baby. A baby! An awful, horrible, disgusting little Bill. Who? Oh, mommy doesn't love you. You little shit! We are now under new management, and things are gonna change around here again. Our new management thing. Which gang are you? Well, I'm not part of any gang, actually. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Our new management, the Versetti gang, is gonna make sure we get no trouble. Capiche? Out. Did you like the capiche? I like the capiche. So this is how it's worked in the past. We run the firm as usual. If we get any trouble from rival firms, you beat the crap out of them. Then they beat the crap out of us. Then you beat the crap out of them, etc., etc. You got it? Uh, yeah. I guess. Just grab a taxi from the garage if you feel like jumping in. Right. Hey, suit dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And the fiberglass hull? She just shoots through the waves. She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, oh, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hull. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Dude. Dude. Oh. Okay, what's the emergency? Oh. Who? Oh, dummy. Some mob thugs said they'd come to take their cut. Said it was a Mr. Farello's money. Oh, I feel like crap. Farelli? Sonny Farelli? Yeah, that's the guy. I think they were very Wait, insistent. Uh, I'm not angry with you. Get him to the hospital. Tommy, rip that guy a new asshole for me. I'm gonna rip him too! <laughs>